Hi, this is Damien Maffei, the devil from Haunt, the man in the mask from The Strangers Pride Night, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today is another interview, this time with Damien Maffei from The Strangers 2. He's the man in the mask and uh, the devil in Haunt. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great myself. So the crew's happy on the show. Yeah. Um, so my first question is, do you have any new projects coming up in the future? Uh, uh, I did a wrong turn foundation. Uh, that'll come out. Uh, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> it would have come out this year. It might still. Uh, I, I don't really know what they're doing with that. Uh, I'm not so sure they know what they're doing with that. <laughs> but um, so there's that. And we're, uh, yeah, I was supposed to be filming. Uh, I was supposed to be done filming a movie called On Location. Uh, that would have wrapped mid-April. Haven't started filming that yet. And uh, what else? Uh, there's a movie I was supposed to go on to in the fall. Actually, I don't even think I'm cleared to talk about that yet so forget it okay. uh, and there's a movie called time's up which we're kind of uh in pre pre-production for right now which is pretty exciting awesome so sounds like you got a lot coming to you uh, in the future if they you know whenever that happens whenever the future right, arrives right, right when this whole situation settles you know yeah um, so going back to The Strangers 2, do you have any fond memories from the set? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of fond memories. That was a, that was a fun movie to do. That was, uh, I mean, it was all fond memories. I mean, it was, it's, you know, it's, it's not even work. It's just like, you know, a vacation. Uh, I mean, I wasn't doing anything. I was just running around with a bag on my head. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was, man, that was a good group of people, uh, which kind of went on. Most of those guys and girls were on, um, on Haunt and then were on Wrong Turn because it was kind of all filmed in the same area. Um, <clears throat> that was good. Johannes Roberts is so much fun, the director, like he's genuinely one of the the most fun energetic people i know and uh yeah it was great we, we, you know they they built the whole trailer park the trailer park wasn't real it's movie magic and uh so it's just kind of we almost had like our own like you know back lot to run around on. um and it, the one of my favorite parts was you know like we couldn't start filming until uh, it, it got dark. Um, so we'd like show up and I, you know, I would just go off and wander around. And, you know, it was like this little odd village with these frozen horrific moments in time, you know, like a, a truck stuck in a trailer or, you know, like, uh, another, you know, car rammed into one, glass all over the place and blood, and, uh, you know, a, another house with the door broken down, and then, you know, it was just like kind of like frozen moments, we, like you tour this little horror village, so that was cool, it was just, I mean, it was all fun, it was that's uh, awesome. too much fun. That's, that's great, um, and what was the most fun scene to film in The Strangers 2? most fun the most fun was probably the bridge scene at the end um right. it was just like we were shooting like a winger video but i mean i you know that was i just like i had all with everything i mean it's you know it's not like it's not challenging acting it's not even really acting so it was just like like the slasher movies we used to shoot in high school, except, you know, there's a lot more equipment and people and, and you know, money. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the fire and the way it was lit up and we were on that like really cool bridge in the middle of nowhere. And it was like this death scene. And I really, you know, I really milked it for, uh, for what it was worth. So that was just kind of like the coolest thing to be a part of. And uh, the pool scene was fun. Uh, it was also, it was probably, yeah, I mean, it was, it was easily the most physically demanding. Um, we were at, towards the end, we were kind of racing the sun there. And, you know, I would pop, Lewis would pop out of the pool and then I'd go to get him. But like my pockets were filled with water and my boots were filled with water. And like, he had like nothing on. He was just like, boom, boom. He'd keep like shooting out of the pool and like they're like Lewis slow down so I mean we felt that the, the time crunch there but I mean the pool thing was fun I when we were doing the pool the pool scene I mean I kind of knew it was something a little special because the way all the cameras were set up and and the action Lewis and I got along so well so we kind of gelled there um you know it was camera underwater above us but uh I mean I I we didn't know what music would be playing, uh, but the palm trees and stuff. So that was, I mean, that, that was fun. It was really, it was, it was incredible to be a part of. And there's a scene where I, uh, that was cut where I urinate right in front of, uh, uh about half an inch from Kinsey's face. Um, that was fun, funny, and kind of, deranged um i was excited to see that scene it's cut uh i don't know if we'll ever see it that's a shame <laughs> it is a shame it is a shame should be on uh on on you know maybe in um maybe in eight years or something screen factory will release you know one of those chock full things and the and the uh, infamous p scene will be on there all right <laughs> all right um, and I mean, it sounds like you just had fun on set, but was there a scene that wasn't fun to shoot? No, no. Like, I mean, maybe it was like really hard or something. I mean, right. the, the, no, no, everything, even the scene in the van with the father, which is probably my favorite scene. That's the one scene that when I read the script, I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to do the movie. I mean, that's not, you know, fun, but, yeah, you know, playing a, a villain in a movie or playing the bad guy and doing, you know, these kinds of things. I mean, there's a, there's an enjoyment for, you know, the actor there. You know, we don't go out and kill people, you know, in public, in real life. You know, I, uh, I don't, do that stuff but you know it's fun to play the bad guy right in in movies so like that scene there i, I felt it had potential to you know really be something and and it was really the only or, or the best instance where I, I mean i could add like some kind of behavior in there some kind of character stuff in there very little but have some kind of fun with it, you know, because the rest is, you know, jumping in the pool, it's on fire, and it's just like, it's madness. And that one was like slow and, and you know, kind of deliberate. So, I mean, that was, you know, it's not like fun, but it was still kind of fun. Right. I get and that, that was the whole, thing. the whole movie is just fun. It's just good, good people. I mean, I, that the, the director of photography, Ryan Samuel, who also did Haunt, I mean, he's like one of my favorite people in the world. He's, he's amazing uh, to work with. Yeah, it was just a good group, a good mix. Right. So I don't have any complaints. I'm sorry. <laughs> the food um, was great. It wasn't even that hot. Either. <laughs> so it wasn't like you were like in the heat all day? No, no. Well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think I shot a single day it was all night right uh, so you know it cooled off by then uh and the bag you know the sack it was, it was 
attack wasn't too bad. It was very, very light and breathy. So I, mean, I did have a quarter or two to on, but you know, it wasn't too bad at all. Awesome. And um, now you might not be able to answer this question, but will there be a Stranger Three? That question I get asked uh, 50 times a week. Um, <laughs> I don't know if other people are getting asked or why they think I know. Um, I, I I don't really know. I, I would I would think so. If I'm being honest, which I like to be, uh, I would though. Um, you know, the first one made money, different brides, um, you know, but it made its money. And it's, as these things do, it's, it's picked up fans along the way. And then there'll, there'll be a, hopefully there'll be this thing where people who immediately balked at it and didn't like it kind of embrace it a little more. So, I mean, I, th I, I would think there'll be another, um, you know. When uh, I don't know, would I be in it? I don't know. Only time will but, tell. Yeah. Um, and then to go a little further to haunt, um, how long did it take to do the makeup with like the piercings and face tattoos? Uh, that was about three hours to put it on me every right. day. Uh, and those guys, right? That's uh, Chris Bridges. And uh, Hugo uh, Villasenor, and um, I mean, they're amazing. They do like Star Trek now, you know, all, like Star Trek makeup. Those those guys do that. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was an experience. Get to sit there and watch them kind of transform me into that. And uh, and they they video recorded it at one point, so someone has it somewhere. But uh, yeah, three hours. Not too bad. And that was three hours for everyone in the movie. I'm, you know. And uh, how many times did you do that? How many times did you have to have the makeup on for the scenes? Uh, not too many. Uh, I think maybe maybe five. So the rest of the time, I mean, if I had the mask on, I didn't have that stuff. Going right. On. Unless right. I took the mask off. But uh, yeah, probably, I, I think five. That's not too bad. No. Um, let me see here. What is the best behind the scenes story of Han that you have? Uh, you see, the thing about Haunt is is that I mean I was <clears throat> my character is so isolated from everyone else. So like most of the time I it's just, it was just me and Katie, uh, uh, so I don't really the cast too much. Uh, the best behind the scenes story for me, uh, besides me tripping every 10 seconds over the <laughs> ropes, um, but it's got three solid minutes of just me tripping all over the place. Um, when we're in the, in the hallway right before, uh, the heroic devil gets his head blown off. Um, you know, I'm choking Katie there, and she started at least like laughed in my face, and I was like, "What are you laughing at?" And she's like, "You, you." And I have my hands around her neck, and uh, she was like, "You, you have kids. What do they think of you?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> My kids don't care about stuff. Uh, um, I did. Uh, I don't know any good stories, man. It's good. It, that was another one. It was just fun. Very lucky to be on just kind of like stress-free fun. I mean, I'm sure 
personnel, you know, the producers and whatnot, all they do is stress, but I'm just having a grand old <laughs> Right. Uh, oh, I went to uh, I went to a Seven Eleven, or was it a Mar? In my in my devil get up. They're not supposed to know about that though, because I'm not supposed to leave. I wasn't supposed to, you know, leave the set without my keeper. But um, I needed something, and I just kind of, I knew I had about 25 minutes before they needed me, and I took off, and I went to. Uh, it was around Halloween when we filmed that. So people just thought, you know, I was down up for Halloween. Right, right. <laughs> that must have been funny. Uh, what are uh, some of your... Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what are some of your own fears? Some of my own what? Some of your own fears. Fears? Oh. Uh, I've gotten very claustrophobic over the years. Uh, so that's something that sucks. Uh, I never used to be claustrophobic, but, but, um, yeah, that's, that's come up. Uh, I, I, I have a real problem with, uh, natural bodies of water, um, oceans, lakes, anything where I can't see the bottom and I, you know, submerge myself in. Um, I, I don't like that, so I, I don't do that too much. I don't go into the ocean. I don't. We always go to a lake a couple of times a year in New Hampshire, and uh, we stay there for a week or so. And uh, the kids, you know, want to go in the lake every day, every second, and do kid stuff. And I'm like, you know, I got a thing with fish and lake monsters. So Jason Voorhees. Uh, Jason Voorhees, too, yeah. Although him, I wouldn't, you know, it's more of the fish thing. Like, things biting me underneath there. I don't know. I don't think I'd have a problem with Voorhees. Right. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. You I'm think, worried uh, about sharks in rivers, though. Some more of the jaw side of horror. Yeah. Do you think uh, the claustrophobia may have come from uh, filming Haunt? Because that's like also in small spaces and stuff. No, uh, um, I can tell you that I realized on Haunt that I had a claustrophobia problem with. They did a life cast of me, the the effects guys, you know, that where they, um, you know, they do a mold of of your head so that they can blow it up and stuff on screen. So, you know, they kind of, they wrap you here and you, you sit down, you, you know, you don't move and they get, they start putting the things on you. And they like poke two holes here. And, uh, you know, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. It's, it's finally, it feels like you're wearing one of those old diving outfits. You know, like the, uh, that I was, I was starting to bug out quite a bit. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's irrational because they were like talking me through it. I had a friend in the room there who, you know, I mean, they were just having conversation. He checks in on you. He's like, how do you, do, how you doing? And I'm like, mm. but in my head the whole time, I was like, I'm going to need to punch my way out of it. Like, what if there's a zombie attack or what if, you know, someone shoots a miss, like ridiculous things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, um, the rest of Haunt, I didn't really have a problem with, like the crawling through that stuff. I, I didn't really have a problem with. It was the the head thing. You know what I, I can't do now is, um, you know, like water parks. Yeah. You know, like the tubes. Oh right, right. I, I, I can't fucking go down those things anymore. I mean, that's basically a combination of claustrophobia and, and water. So. Yeah, it's like my like uh, it's just my nightmare. Right. <laughs> Maybe you end up like in a in a crazy big lake, I you know? I go in one end and come out in a shark infested, you know, river. Right. <laughs> that. Um, if there was any other classic horror character you could play, who would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um, 
classic horror character. Yeah. I I uh, I have a love for um, the Invisible Man. Um, you know the old you know the original Universal one and and the book as well. Um, I would have liked to have done something with the Invisible Man, which is weird because like he's invisible. Um, but I just think it's a great character. I love that whole concept and 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 the look when he does get done up. Um, I mean, a little more modern, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's an, uh, I'm sure there's an answer. I just don't know what it is. I mean, like the, you know, the Michael Myers, the Jason, like, I, I'm not, I'm not really interested in that. I, I would like to do Jason if I'd be allowed to go back more to um, the part two type thing, uh, which is unpopular because nobody else wants that. But like, that's that's when I found Jason interesting. Um, I mean, I like part four and, and you know, and, and, uh, and other, other, other stuff that Jason is doing. But as far as like me would, wanting to get in there, um, I think two is when he was the most interesting. And, and the scariest to me because he's 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 more human there and 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 clumsy and and you know erratic uh so i mean that um i i don't know i'm bound to say a lot of unpopular things like i'd be interested in doing like a remake of the burning or something you know like play like a cropsy in there if he had something to do, I mean, if the guy's just going to be like quick, you know, flash and, and kill, I mean, you can get anyone to do that, which is what I said right. about Prey at Night when they first asked me. I said, like, you can get anyone to do this. Like, it's just going to annoy me. Um, but I did it anyway. Right, um, right. <laughs> um, and what are some of your own favorite horror movies? Uh, my favorite all time is probably uh, Black Christmas, the original. Uh, love it. I think it's perfect. Uh, I just unfriended someone on Facebook yesterday because they were ragging on Black Christmas so much. So it's like, I uh, you're out of my life if you're go you you can not like Black Christmas, but if you're gonna like go out of your way to bash it, I'm. I'm cutting you off. <laughs> uh, so that's my, that's my favorite. It's always been. I, I, I love it dearly. Otherwise, I mean, Alien, uh, The Exorcist, The Thing is, you know, these are like perfect movies. Um, Friday 13th Part 2 I like uh, a lot. Um, I like the Scream movies. I like 1 and 2. Uh, looking forward to Scream 5. Uh I mean, I, I have a soft spot for slasher movies. I kind of like put them on my own, you know, like wavelength, you know, like, because like I love Stage Fright, uh, the Mikel Sauvé uh, movie, um, but am I going to compare it to like The Exorcist or something? I, I don't know. Stage Fright is, is incredible. There's like a lot of beautiful things and, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like stuff. I like right. stuff. I think that's always very interesting because where do you draw the line between uh, something just being bad or something being really fun, but like not to compare to The Exorcist or The Shining or Jaws, you know? That's a, that's a, that's a good conversation where the internet needs to have, I think, because I think that that's a gray area. It's very confusing. Like recently... I've seen a lot of love for Chopping Mall. Like a lot of love. Right. Like it's great shirts coming out and Joe Bob Briggs and everyone, uh, now everyone's talking about Chopping Mall and how much they love Chopping Mall. And I'm like, what the fuck? Chopping <laughs> Like you don't actually like Chopping Mall. You might like Chopping Mall because it's so dopey and bad. But like, you know, go with that. But don't tell me the chopping mall is classic. It's great. 
I, I don't know. That's my feeling on that. Uh, yeah, but, you know, but uh, yeah, there are slasher movies that are, are set out to do what they want to do and are, are really good and have a lot of things going for it. And then there are, you know, bad slasher movies that you may have fun with, but you can have fun with them. Right, right. You know, and um, like every Friday the 13th movie after part six. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, is there anything more you can say about the new Wrong Turn movie? Uh, I've, I've been, te I, I get the, first of all, I, I remember, like, I saw the first Wrong Turn in theaters, and then I saw the second one, not in theaters, because I don't think it went theatrical, but, uh, and then they just kept making sequels, inexplicably. And I never understood how someone was justifying these sequels coming out, and I'd never met anyone that had seen any of the movies. Um, but they, I mean, they were clearly, you know, not good. And then... I was announced in wrong turn and then my Instagram inbox just started to get assaulted by these fans from Latin America, you know, Brazil, everyone I am, you know, from Brazil of uh, these wrong turn, like junkies, these huge fans. And just like there, there, there's a legion of them. I was like, wow. Like, so you you guys are the ones responsible for these Wrong Turn movies coming out. And they're always like, what can you tell us about Wrong Turn 7 or, or Road to Terror or whatever it's called there? Or, <laughs> I, like, I mean, uh, I'm not really... They're like, we're the biggest Wrong Turn fans in the world. Each one of them is the biggest Wrong Turn fan. And um, I'm just like, it's it's... I almost feel like it's my duty to tell them that it's vastly different from any of the other wrong turn movies like a lot um i don't know what that's going to do for them because if you just want more wrong turn five and six then you're going to be gravely disappointed but maybe you should get some help uh <laughs> that's what you want um so it's very different um that was another group of people You know, it was it was it was just a great group of people. And that director, Mike Mike Nelson, he's just I, I love him, love him. And he's you know horror fan. Like one of the one of my favorite things about working on Wrong Turn was showing up to set and seeing what shirt Mike would have on. And he had <laughs> this black Christmas shirt that I'd never seen before. And I'm just like staring at him. And I'm like I'm going around his back. It's all you know one of Billy's speeches on the back. And I was like holy shit. So that, that, that was a good group, uh, you know, more horror fans and a lot of the return crew from uh, Prey at Night and Haunt were on that. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it, it's not a slasher film. It's, you know, it's brutal. It's got its brutality, but there's some, you know, there's some meat on those bones. Um, not that, you know, sla I mean, I, I really like the first wrong turn. I think it's it's a slick film. I, I think the, the cast is good. I think it looks nice. I mean, and it, it's a cool, fun, you know, fast movie. But this one, this one takes a different route, and um, it's got a really cool cast. Uh, you know, Matthew Modine, Bill Sage, uh, Charlotte Vega are in there. Uh, me, I'm in there somewhere. And uh, Cheney Morrow from, from Haunt, uh, the ghost, Mitch, is in there. So, uh, you know, that's probably about all I can say. Um, except, I mean, it's about a foundation. It's about this society of people that have lived in the mountains for 100 years or so and um, kind of been doing their own thing. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's about it, I think. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. It'll be something. I mean, I've not seen it, but 
it was doing some test screenings about two months ago uh, before all this stuff happened. Right. So, um, I don't know. I'd keep an eye out on Mike Nelson's uh, Instagram or something because uh, sometimes he'll he'll update folks. Awesome. So uh, do you have any final words for the interview? No. I don't know. Uh, thanks for thanks for having me on. You're welcome, man. <laughs> I know I'm waving. Uh, it's just polite to wave. Right, right. Uh, you can't shake hands anymore. That's that's not. You know, right, so let's just wave each other off, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I mean, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to keep track of me for some reason, you know, you can find me on Twitter. I don't really know how to do Twitter yet. I I, I try to. But uh, I'm not much of a tweeter. I can respond to things, but I don't like sit there and I'm like, ah, God, I need to tweet this. Like it doesn't, right, right, right. It doesn't happen. Um, Instagram, I'm on there. I, I try to respond to all the messages, um, even the wrong turn ones in different languages. I'll try to translate them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook too. I don't know. All those right. things. I don't have TikTok or anything. Uh, and uh this movie time's up which we're working on uh it's got a really really cool uh teaser poster really cool teaser poster it's amazing it's worth it to just go on instagram and look at that uh chris uh chris butler uh did that of um brutal designs seriously go check out the time's up poster and then there will be a movie which I, i think um we're really excited about it's it's got a really Really cool script. It is a slasher movie, but it's it's got you know some emotional uh, punch to it, and um, it's got some depth, and uh, I think it'll resonate with people, and it'll be uh, really cool and brutal and, and all that stuff. And it takes place awesome. on New Year's. Oh, great! So maybe, maybe we'll finally have a good New Year's. Year's uh... I mean, it wasn't like, well, we need to do a holiday slasher movie it just kind of like lined up that it should be on new year's um and then i was like oh my god this could be like a new year's eve slasher movie which it's new year's like, uh, is yeah. it's kind of like terror train where it's not the major plot point but it is right. just on right. new year's that's, eve. that's exactly not like well i mean i guess that's how halloween is right he's not doing anything because it's halloween right I don't know. by christmas i don't know um yeah no you're you're right though it happens to be on new year's like terror train right no magicians though <laughs> no, i mean magicians maybe for the better right i don't know i mean like, i feel like we'll just leave the magicians with them right right and encroach on that territory too Awesome. So uh, thank you so much for being on the interview. You got it. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.